Hello students. So let's try to solve one more problem from quantum mechanics. And this is from CSIR NET 2024 December examination. And this is question number 705154. And this is from the Dirac Delta. So this is just a, we have just if you know the theory of the Dirac Delta, you can easily solve problem. What is this? So particle is bounded. So if it is bounded, obviously this Vx is V0 delta x. So this V0 must be negative, then only it has bound state. So if pro, so it is given if probability to finding the reason mod x is less than a is 0 0.025, then what is value of a? So this is very, very simple question. But yes, you have to do calculation in a very nice way. First of all, this potential is something like this. So you can just go for that. So this is your potential because V0 is negative. And uh, what will be your wave function? Your wave function is something root under gamma e to the power minus gamma mod x. What is value of gamma? The value of gamma is equal to minus 2m e upon h cut square. So this is your value of gamma. And we also know what is value of energy? The value of energy, if this parameter is V0, then value of energy is equal to minus m V0 square upon 2 h cut square. So we can find the value of gamma. So this gamma is nothing. So when we will put the value of V0 here, so that value is equal to m V0 upon h cut square. This 2 and 2 will cancel. This is the value of gamma. So this thing will be used later because we have to give the answer in term of V0. So now let us try to calculate the value. So what do we have to calculate? So this is normalized wave function. So we not need to normalize it. So how you will calculate? So your psi x is basically root under gamma e to the power minus gamma mod x, where x is between minus infinity to plus infinity. What we have to do? We have to calculate p probability such that mod x is less than a. So that value is equal to, we have to go for minus a to plus a and mod psi square dx, that value is given 0.25. And once we will go for that, then this value is equal to gamma minus a to plus a e to the power minus 2 gamma mod x dx is equal to 0.25. And obviously, this is a even function. So we can easily go for 2 gamma 0 to a e to the power minus 2 gamma x dx is equal to 1 by 4. 0.25 is 1 by 4. So we can just do this integration. And when we will go for this integration, then what we have 2 gamma and we have 1 minus e to the power minus 2 gamma a upon 2 gamma. So minus sign we have to come there. So there will be 1 g is here. So this 2 gamma 2 gamma is cancel is equal to 1 by 4. This 2 gamma 2 gamma is cancel. What you will get? You will get minus e to the power minus 2 a gamma is equal to minus 3 upon 4. So this minus sign will cancel. And what we have? We have 2 gamma a is equal to basically we have 3, uh, sorry, this value is equal to ln 3 by 4, ln 3 by 4. And what is value of A? The value of A is equal to 1 upon 2 gamma ln 3 by 4. So now we will put the value of gamma. Though in the last page, we have calculated value of gamma that is mv0 h cut square. So this value is equal to, so we have 1 upon 2 m v0 h cut to square ln 3 upon 4. Negative sign is there. This v0 can be compensated to this one. So this value is equal to a. So we have to calculate this particular value. So this is h cut to square 2 m v0 and ln 3 by 4. So its option must be the second one. But in the examination, they have given the wrong option. So this can be challenged. So this will be the answer. So this is a straightforward question. In the class, we have done all the calculation and we know how to calculate the probability and all this thing. So but only one beautiful thing is that how you will write gamma in term of parameter. 
this is the only thing that you have to uh, that uh, in the examination you have to just do this little bit manipulation because the solution the four option are written in term of phenol that's it thank you